What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Evolution XROM which is based on Android 11 and let me actually go into the about section to show you the build and here is how the about section looks like we have the Evolution X logo up top of course and the Android version of course is Android 11 and as you can see if you do this does this 11 kind of thing over here so yeah finally we have evolution x on android 11 there is no evolver and stuff like that i'll show those things to you later on but right now let me just focus on this about section here we have the evolution x version as 5.0 and it says le and official build the security patch is latest of october 5th 2020 and if you notice the build maintainer is still johuab and here we have the build date as 23rd October 2020 build and the stock kernel here is the perf g kernel and right now if you want to know what is working and what is not you can simply go into their telegram channel and see that there is listed that what's not working and the, those things are gonna be cast ok google and there is no evolver yet so yeah ok google is broken so even if you say ok google it does not pop out uh, google assistant and here as you can see cast is kind of broken but i have seen photos with like google photos and stuff that cast is working but youtube cast is kind of broken so yeah i have seen those things and of course there is no evolver so that means there is no or not many customization of course right now this is still an early build and right now let me just show you this is how the home screen section looks like let me actually go into the about section of the stock launcher and here as you can see this is the pixel launcher by default present and this is the pixel launcher for android 11 maybe and there is not much of customization here for the pixel launcher but we do have this option to like disable these suggestions you can do that and here is how it looks like again and on the stock launcher you can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel and there you can swipe up from the bottom to get to the app drawer as you can see you can search for any app over there and we have the google's discover page to the left side of the home screen and the stock launcher also has the widgets support so yeah widgets and stuff are working totally fine of course that's like nothing much to mention over here but yeah and there is no double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen or even on the status bar so yeah that is a bad thing right now i would say but yes of course they will be adding more and more features in the future updates so we have to wait for that right now let me just quickly talk about the flashing procedure of this ROM. If you are flashing this ROM, you can straight up follow this video from the card over there and with that you can like flash this ROM pretty much very easily without any issues. I have flashed the dirt face ROM and if you want to have like Android 10 with customizations, right now I will recommend you flashing the dirt face ROM because that has a lot of customizations. The only interesting feature which I am seeing over here, the power menu. As you can see, if I tap and hold the power button and as you can see the power menu appears on the top and there we have this emergency power off and the advanced thing so if i tap on advanced and as you can see you can right now directly boot into like recovery or fast boot or you can just reboot the system ui or you can reboot normally but with this reboot i have noticed one bug that if i reboot to recovery and reboot to the system again the device just reboots automatically one more time without my permission or without asking for anything it just says rebooting system again and it reboots to system then you can use the rom like pretty normally but yeah that thing happens whenever i reboot to recovery and reboot to system it just reboots one more time after rebooting to system so that is one thing to mention it happened even after i flashed the rom and talking about flashing again i would say it is very simplistic flashing procedure like any other rom you just flash the latest firmware flash the rom and f script disabler and you reboot no g apps needed here because g apps is pre-included and if you're coming from custom rom just wipe cache dalvik system data and vendor as well if you want to and just flash the same procedure i just mentioned and if you're coming from ui you need to format data and if you're coming from ui you are clean flashing a custom rom you can watch this video from the card right there to like see the full flashing guide over here for flashing any kind of custom rom on your redmi k20 pro now let me show you the quick settings panel again this is how it looks like and as you can see it has this kind of Thing over here like you can scroll and you can edit and add multiple toggles from here and as you can see there are a plethora of toggles to add from even now even though this is an early stage build and as you can see there are some app kind of quick toggles over here and we have the volume panel and stuff screenshot option is there and we have the location inverted colors and stuff we do have this screen recorder over here 
with which you can record the device's audio and the microphone audio at the same time so you can record system audio and microphone audio at the same time with the screen recorder so that is very cool i would say and i really really love this screen recorder feature and here we also have this oxygen noise kind of screen recorder in case you are gonna go in depth with the resolution and stuff then if you want to change the bitrate of the video then if you want to like change the audio source as you can see so yeah a lot of like features over here regarding this oxygen noise kind of screen recorder and of course you guys should be familiar with that and then we have the heads up disabling option also we have this fps counter so as you can see on the top left corner of the screen you can right now see the fps so if you are playing games and stuff you can see the fps real time so that is very good and the stock camera over here is the google camera go so that's how it is we have to stick with google camera go unless and until they release a anx camera which is gonna happen maybe next year or so it is too early to expect anx camera working on the android 11 but right now we have to stick with this google camera go and this is actually a little bit modified google camera go i guess and as you can see it says how many photos you can take with your left storage and if you go into the settings we have the night mode then the face enhanced mode and then this like storage changing option of course this device does not have a sd card option so i don't know why this sd card is there but yeah and there is the timer option too and if you switch the front camera let me actually show you as you can see the front camera is working flawlessly without any issues there is also this like face enhancing feature and if you go into this again and we also have the night mode for the front camera too so yeah these things are working fine even portrait mode is, is there if you want to use that you can and in the video section as you can see this is how it looks like no settings for this this is a 1080p video i guess and as you can see there is like how many minutes you can shoot video straight with your storage left so yeah these things are there this google camera go is pretty fine but yeah it is a basic camera still so i have also installed the unix version of the google camera this is working fine again and if you want to install this google camera you can click on the card right there and with this all the lenses are actually working fine which you cannot switch with the lenses with the google camera go so yeah this is a pretty fun option to switch as you can see the 2x and the like wide angle both are working fine with this google camera unix version so if you want to install this again card right there and talking about volte and wi-fi calling as well there is wi-fi calling as you can see but there is no volte icon showing up over here also even if you plug in a headphone it does not show the headset icon over there so that's one thing to mention over here and this is how the stock in call ui looks like and there is no like call recording option or something so that is kind of disappointing but yeah basic pixel dialer over here does not have a call recording option here in the battery settings we do have the battery percentage option and talking about the battery life this has been giving me a really great battery life i would say you can definitely get about eight plus hours of screen on time easily with this rom and right now the battery life is just insanely good and it is way better than i was expecting with android 11 but yeah with most of the android 11 roms which i have been seeing the battery life is just a lot more improved and here this is no different we get really good battery life over here and as you can see you can check the full usage from here and right now i have 72 percent juice left and almost three hours of screen on time so you can guess right almost eight plus hours of screen on time easily almost all the time so that is very good we also have this thermal profile and stuff battery saver battery manager etc let me go back to the display settings here is how it looks like we have the night light so it does make the display yellowish you can use this if you want to then we have the styles and wallpapers and stuff then we have the screen saver lock screen kind of customization always on display is of course there and double tap to wake is there but of course there is no double tap to sleep i have been using it with a dc dimming or anti flicker mode turned on working totally fine and inside styles and wallpapers as you can see you can change these themes over here if you want to and by the way if you want to change the accent colors over here you can just tap on this custom option and you can hit next and right here as you can see there is a lot of option to choose from and you can choose any kind of red or green or these kind of cyan kind of colors or even this kind of green so yeah a lot of color options are there but yeah you have to go into this like theme section to get all of these colors as you can see plethora of options are actually there and even for these icons we have these four option and for the fonts we again have these four option then we have this wallpaper kind of option over here we do have this come alive section this is how it looks like right now and as you can see you can change these themes over here just like this so yeah pretty cool android 11's feature of changing wallpapers and you can also change this one i guess 
so it just changes the background color and stuff and in the sound settings we have this kind of settings we have vibrate for calls option you can change this to always vibrate or vibrate first then ring gradually and stuff like that let me go back we have this media kind of option and then live caption by the way this is how the volume panel looks like you can expand it just like this and here we have this shortcut to prevent ringing and stuff now playing option is there and then dial pad tones etc is there touch sound touch vibration you can disable that and here the audio direct is kind of like force closing right now for some reason it did force close once but right now as you can see there is this youth edition and stuff and with this the like sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is just amazingly good here no issues with the sound quality and even with the hi-fi audio option you can use that so yeah me audio direct is working totally fine here inside system we do get a system updater so you can check for updates and you can see all the details of the security patch and version etc over here let me go back we have this gestures option and from here you can see we have this android 11 gesture you can customize it a bit then we have the three button navigation but no two button navigation over here we have the quickly open camera option let me go back we have the front camera sound effects and you can disable the sound effect of the front camera and the front camera led if you want to and we have the google keyboard as the default keyboard over here now inside security if you go over here we have the pixel imprint but of course you cannot simply find the face unlock or any app lock over here so that's how it is right now let me just quickly show you the fingerprint scanner speed so here from the always on display this is how the always on display looks like of course and if i tap my finger as you can see it unlocks right away let me show you with the left hand thumb now and by the way the light which emits from the fingerprint scanner is right now white over here let me show you up close i think you can see it so yeah this is white it did not unlock because i did not place my finger correctly so right now let me just show you from the lock screen by double tapping over here because double tap to wake is actually working so yeah this as you can see it unlocks again so again from the lock screen with the left hand thumb unlocked now i'll try with the night light turned on and also i have the dc dimming turned on by the way so with night light dc dimming turned on from always on display unlocked and again from always on display night light dc dimming turned on left hand thumb unlocked and i will just use the lock screen now and as you can see it unlocked took a little bit longer but it did unlock let me try it again and it unlocked again so yeah the fingerprint scanner is 100 percent working so no issues with the fingerprint scanner here now the only thing i would say is kind of buggy i have noticed is that this recent panel of course has this screenshot and the select feature the select feature is of course working fine you can select any kind of text over here and by the way the screenshot is working totally fine but as soon as you click on edit as you can see it just like does not edit even if i click over here as you can see it says markup keeps stopping and stuff so yeah this is kind of weird that the editing feature is not working right now with this evolution x rom but it used to work on the dark face rom so if you want everything perfect right now i would say go with the dark face rom but yeah if you are gonna wait for the next update and stuff and you're gonna just flash the evolution x rom and wait you can do that too now talking about the wide wine security i would say it says l1 over here as you can see right there so that means you can stream netflix or amazon prime internet p right now so that is not an issue also banking apps over here works right out of the box so that is not gonna be a problem for you too i have been using the google pay and other banking apps like sbi card and stuff those are working totally fine here so banking apps are not a problem here right now let me just open some of the apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the ram management here let's open twitter play store instagram and while i am opening these apps right here and i would say if you want to see the benchmarks you can see it from the screen right there and as you can see the app of speeds are pretty fine even from memory you can open multiple apps and it does not get like slowed down or something okay so i did not open the like google home earlier right now i just opened it so let me just open all these apps again here you can see the android and geekbench scores again of this particular rom And as you can see the animations are pretty fine it's not stuttery at all and i can switch between apps just like this so yeah even though this is an early build all the like things are opening super fast and it is very snappy i would say not a bad experience here even though this is an early android 11 build of evolution x 
So that's my impressions of this Evolution X ROM right now on the K20 Pro. If you definitely want to try Android 11 on your device, you can definitely do that right now. And it is currently, I would say, almost like up there with other Android 11 ROMs. But yes, if you are going to ask me which one is better, I'm going to straight up say right now the Dirt Face ROM is way better. I made a particular video for that. You can see it from the card right there. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be at you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.